Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So when I left you guys last, we were doing the door and it's time to move on. I asked you guys what panel you want me to do next. You guys were all over the place. Understandable, that's fine. Some of you want me to go to the door, some of you want me to go to the fender. But before you answer that, check this out. I wanted to show you guys this roof rail up here. This is just inside the drip rail molding and it don't look good. It doesn't look good at all. Now the other side doesn't look bad, but this side is terrible. And I do believe that this is actually the last problem area that we need to address really, as far as rust goes, everything else seems to be in pretty good shape. Now you guys already know about the rockers, you know, and we're gonna fix that. Eastwood has graciously agreed to send us some rust cap and cap how do you say that rust capulator something like that so eastwood has agreed to send us some uh rust encapsulator i mean really cool stuff uh something called i think called flamethrower never heard of it man i can't wait to try this stuff out they say that's going to fix us up in that uh in that rocker area where all that rust is that's our worst area we will be addressing that soon as those chemicals come in but for now I think we should move on to here. Let's work this down. Let's see exactly what we're working with in here because this looks this looks pretty bad. So we got our three inch angle grinder out again, 24 inch disc. This is your best friend, stuff like this. This will work that material down real quick and it'll get a lot of the surface rust off and that's exactly what we want. So let's get started on that. All right, so the first thing I wanna do is I'm gonna attempt to scrape some of this out with a pick. Let's see if we can't get some of this loose. I've got a couple different picks here. Got the smaller one and I got this larger one here. Between the two, we ought to be able to get a lot of this out of here. I just want to kind of get under, there we go, look at that. Just want to get kind of, get underneath it so we can get where we can peel it up out of there. Look at that. See what, see down in there, see what I'm talking about? Yeah, we gotta be able to get inside of here and work that down. Now, so far it's just surface rust. I don't see any holes, which is great news. Hopefully there won't be any holes in any of this. Let's get it off of here and see what we're working with. There we go. So once you get under it, it's not so bad kind of pry it up out of there. I'm just gonna do that all the way down. There's like several layers of it. Some of it I think is probably the original seam seal like this here. I think we are down to the original seam seal at this point. And that other stuff, this all, all this right through here is something somebody else has added on somewhere along the line. And this down in here is the original. You could tell because it's very brittle. So we gotta get all of that up out of there and see exactly what we're working with. I don't see any holes yet. Hopefully all that scraping doesn't bug you guys. It drives my wife insane. Working in a body shop, you get kind of used to that sound because you're so used to scratching on everything with sandpaper. You actually grow to, to like that sound. It actually means something, something's going, something's happening. <laughs> you know, progress. Get all this old crud out of here. Yeah, look. At so you see what I mean about how this definitely needs to get addressed. I mean, there's no, there's no paint in this. Not, there's no way. We can't even think about paint at this point. We are nowhere near that point yet.
Yeah, it's coming off pretty good though. I mean, hell, I didn't even have to break out the grinder yet. This is all coming off by hand so far. All right, got me just a flathead screwdriver here. Hammer, I'm just gonna kinda go through there and do this. So we make it a little easier on ourselves. That seems to be working great. Look at that. Got that right out of there. We'll get all this out and then we'll hit it up with that grinder. It should be good to go. Yeah, that stuff was so ready to come off there, you guys. It's, this is actually pretty easy. That stuff's been wanting off there for a long time. Wasn't serving any purpose at this point, except just holding in moisture, making the problem even worse. Yeah, that's definitely the old original seam seal there. Now, if the last guy had peeled all of this out of there and then added his own seam seal, instead of just putting it right over the top of this, this might would have been a solid repair. But, whatever. We'll get it back to good. In case you guys didn't get a good look at it earlier, that piece I just pulled off was the new stuff someone had added however many years ago. And then this is the original stuff here. And you could tell it's very brittle. Kind of comes out of there in little chunks. Like that. But comes out of it easy nonetheless, so cool. I'm curious what it's gonna look like up against this windshield channel here i mean this is you know where rust likes to get all around inside these windows these windshields um we'll know more if we take this trim off i have to figure that out in a minute see somebody's been in there with silicone and all kinds of stuff look at that whole bunch of silicone in there man that's just some of the stuff we picked out of it All right, let's get started with that angle grinder. We'll work some of this down. I think down inside of this channel, this is gonna work really well. Let's try this. This is just a die grinder with just a little wire wheel on it. Should work really well. Going back and forth in this channel, we'll work the rest of that out of there.
All right, let's see where all this got us. Um, all the rust is out of there. All that's left is a little bit of surface rust. You can kind of see the pitting, things like that. But that's okay because all of that rust is going to get converted. It's going to get stopped in its tracks. And then after that, we could proceed with putting on top coats and feathering things back and, and uh, putting more seam seal in. I mean, this will get re-seam sealed. So all the pitting, you, you're not going to see any of that. And of course, the grinding marks will just get feathered back. So this will be a nice solid repair when we're done. I think this will work. Let's jump over to the other side and I'll show you. The other side is not nearly as bad as this. So here's the other side. It doesn't seem like it's peeled back as bad as that other side, the driver's side was, you know, all of this, so you can actually see it's still attached. So this side's sealed up better for some reason. Maybe they prepped it better, I don't know, but for whatever reason, this side's a lot better. So I don't anticipate having nearly as much trouble with this side. And you know, to be honest, the other side was really no trouble anyway. So if that side was that easy, being the worst side, this side should be great. I wasn't quite sure how to get this window trim off. But apparently it just snaps right on. I just got my my little uh, pick here and kind of got underneath it and just kind of wiggled around. Just worked it loose back and forth, up and down. I mean, I was all over the place with it. And little by little, I got it to kind of work loose until eventually it just snapped right off of there. And you can see there's kind of a, a channel here. I don't know if you can see that. There's a channel there for this to kind of click into. So that's what was holding it. Came off pretty easy though. We'll still be very very careful and just kind of wiggle this apart and just like that we got it off of there without damaging it i'm telling you man this car is super easy to work on really cool so this is what we're dealing with under here still nothing but just very very light surface rust and really i don't I don't really see any rust at all, at all in this section, to be honest with you. And I was kind of worried about that. I was afraid once I got in here and started kind of getting some of this apart that we would find more stuff. And so far, man, we're good to go. I'm going to try to figure out how to uh, get this piece off. I see a screw here, but I don't see anything else. I don't know if maybe there's something underneath or maybe it's held on the same way this piece was. Maybe it's clicked into a channel and the rest is just kind of... I don't know, it just kind of snaps on. I'll keep messing around. We'll get underneath it and see if there's any clips going through or anything like that as well. All right, so I'm going to start by taking this screw out right here. And that's about all I know to do with it at this point. <laughs> Let's see if we can kind of work our way underneath it a little bit. I've got my pick, I've got me a flat handle screwdriver. I'm gonna be super easy with this because I don't want to mess none of this up. And I'm thinking I may even have to come in and pull this one off first because that kind of runs underneath it a little bit. Maybe we should just do that right quick. All right, so this piece of trim here, I know exactly how it comes off. It just snaps right out of here. like that you just got to be really careful with it don't force anything just work your way down you know just kind of to see every so often I'd say probably about every eight inches there's a clip you just gotta get that to come out of the hole it's really easy though Keep working our way down. You don't want to get crazy. You get too fast, and you'll you'll put a crease in this, and that's the end of it. When you get to the end down here, it's actually going to slip up on there. So you're going to have to kind of get this to come out and pull at the same time. Just see, just barely, just give it a little wiggle. Kind of pull this out at the same time. It's a dance. There we go, see, it came out of the hole. We'll give it a little wiggle. 
we pull and there you go just like that it's out of our way and you can see all look at all the garbage you know the nastiness everything that's trapped underneath there there is no possible way to paint this car with all this stuff on here i mean look this is like a a highway coming through here i mean you got trim coming this way more going out this way more coming up this way you got this little channel here everything i mean there's no way to get in there and prep any of this and make it right it's just impossible so now that that's out of the way and, and look at the rust i mean that's a lot of rust coming through i mean it hasn't eaten a hole or anything so it's still good metal we'll be able to convert that and make it right stop it in its tracks but if you were to try to paint the car with that on there you're just leaving that behind and you're not preserving the vehicle in any way shape or form complete waste of time doing it like that well now since we got that piece out of the way look what we did here that's what i was thinking i could tell that that piece kind of went over the top of this and even though that screw was out i still couldn't get this to move so it had to go it's got to come off anyway so what difference does it make all right so we're going to come through here this is very very thin metal so you got to be super careful like i said like i said you will bend this stuff almost instantly look how nice that's coming off there man this is just almost fun you know what i mean seriously look at that oh my god what is going on good lord of mercy look at all that look at all that look at this are you serious you serious look at this If we hadn't got to this car when we did, you guys, a year or two down the road, it'd be too far gone, man. I mean, we literally got to this thing just in time. It was on its way, man. It was on its way. Look at this. All that moisture getting trapped down in there. I cannot believe none of this is eaten through. I can't believe it. It's amazing. We literally, we caught this in time, just in time. Another year of that. Another year, she'd be gone, man. Seriously, she'd be she'd be a parts car. That is all. That is just mud, wet mud, full of moisture. Well, it's pretty dirty, wasn't it? That looks so much nicer now. And of course, you know, we're not done. We'll get in there clean it up super nice. It'll be spotless when we get done with it. Just wanted to show you guys, this is how I store my moldings. I'm actually gonna stick the screw back in the hole and then I'll throw a piece of tape over it and it'll stay there right where I need it to stay. I won't have to go look for it later. All right, and also, of course, you wanna, you wanna label everything. So, we'll throw us a label on all of this trim. You gotta remember, by the time we're done, we're gonna have so many trim pieces laying around, it's not even funny. This thing's got a mile of trim on it, I swear. Just label it the best that you can. I'm gonna label this the, the left fin inside. Right? Left fin inside, that ought to be good enough. So I think we'll just continue right along over to the other side and just get this whole back section done all at once. So we'll start just like the other side. Start with this piece here, move on to these others. Hopefully this side will come off just as easy as that other side did because that other side didn't give us any problems at all. This car has been a pleasure to work on so far. I hate even saying that because I know it's just gonna, it's gonna jinx me just any time, you know? I know how that goes. Be very, very careful, man. This will bend so fast, your head will spin. Just easing it, just trying to talk, talk it into coming off. That's all we're doing. There we go. Okay. 
Yep, just the same as the other side. Very, very nasty. Lots of buildup. But minimal rust, believe it or not. Very, very strange. I figured this would be a rusty mess. As soon as I seen it, I thought, oh God. All right, so the way I did this on the other side is I just kind of got underneath of a pick. Just kind of talked it into coming loose, you know. It, it took a little, little persuading, you know. A lot of it's because of all the seam sealers somebody piled on here. We'll get some of this out of the way. I think that'll help us out. There we go, there we go, just like that. It's just that easy. All right, now hopefully this top piece will come off just as easy because it's got to go as well. You can see how somebody's come in here and tried to seam seal this. But hey, I'll give them an A for effort. You know, they were trying. Let's see if we can't get this off of here now. I'm living dangerous right now. I don't recommend prying underneath there like that because if we bend this up, our, our piece won't want to slide over. Let's see if we can get my, my pick underneath there. Something like that maybe. Run that down through there and see if that'll pry that up. Seems to be working pretty well, actually. Come over here to the other side. Again, I just got my pick underneath there, just kind of breaking that seal. And that is actually working very well. Get all that old seam sealer off there. Look at that. <laughs> oh my lord. Get all that out of there and that trim should pop right off there really. We'll keep working that on up out of there. That's really all that's holding this on at this point. Just a bunch of old seam sealer. There ain't no telling how old this stuff is. It gave up the ghost a long time ago and it's been doing nothing really but just trapping moisture in at this point oh it's gonna make it so much easier to paint now not having all that crap in there nice now bear with me here because I've never done this before I've never messed with one of this old before. I mean, a lot of this trim is the same. All right, so I've managed to kind of start it out of its groove here. And I really don't want to mess that up because I want that to go back in with ease when we're done with all of this. I think we could kind of start working this out of that channel. Just want to be really careful not misshaping any of this. We'll never get it back in again. There we go, that's what we're looking for. All right, there we go. Not gonna lie, that one was a little bit of a pain. But look how easy that's gonna be to paint now. I mean, we got a ton of room between this and the rubber. So easy to, to mask this. And remember, this doesn't even show. So even if you did get a little bit of paint on it, it wouldn't even matter, but anyway, we should have no trouble getting paint down in there and that's what's important. That's right where we're gonna want it.
All right, let's get in and clean up some of this stuff. I want to get this channel kind of scrubbed out the best I can. Just using my zap here. Let's hose this down, man. Let's get all that nastiness out of there. Kind of let that soak in for a minute. All right, we'll get in there, kind of scrub all that out of there. While I'm at it, I want to get up in that channel where that trim kind of went up inside of there you know make sure all that's nice and clean Get all that dirt out of there that way our channel will click back in a lot easier when we go to put this back together Oh, that is really nasty. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, wow. That's years and years, you guys. Years and years of crud. So, we are literally racing the years off of this thing as we speak. Well, we can see her original color now. It's a little lighter than the, the color it was repainted. Those of you don't know, this has been painted before. Looks like they put an old single stage paint job on it. You can see where it's actually a little darker. I don't know, man, I like the original color. I like that lighter blue. And that's what color we'll be painting it. We're going to go with its original paint code when it comes time to refinish this thing. I was noticing that the original white that came on the car from factory is more of an off-white than the color that's on it right now. And I like the uh, original white a lot better. It's kind of a... Uh, I don't know, it's kind of a dirty white. I don't know how to describe it exactly. But it looks really cool. It looks more vintage, if that's a, a good way to put it. As opposed to that bright white that someone put on it. So, like I said, we will be going back with the original colors, I do believe. And I actually have the paint coat for this thing, so that'll be cool. Man, I'll tell you what, you can really see just how close this thing was to going. Man, we caught it just in time, I'm telling you. I'm so glad that we were able to to get it, you know, 
now and not a few years from now because you go pulling that stuff off and then you, that's when you realize just how in-depth the project's going to be and a lot of times that's a that's a deal breaker you know but i think we lucked out man i don't see a hole in this thing anywhere just surface rust and you know any of that rough stuff it's going to be hidden underneath the uh, trim anyway you won't see it just as long as we kill the rust prep the area get it painted nice we'll click the trim back on and you'll never know that any of this roughness was there a lot of it will get worked down with a grinder as well so that part i think will be a lot easier than i was anticipating so that's good news that's very good news this up in here a lot easier than i was anticipating man i really needed to get in there and find out for sure you know there's no point in getting in here straightening all this stuff out if you get in there and find out oh man you know what this thing needs a roof skin it's it's eaten completely through and we're gonna have to peel this back and get in there and treat that inner structure and then put a new roof you start into all that it's like nope no project takes a different direction very very quickly when you start finding things like that but i am pleased to say i am happy to report that uh so far man i think we have addressed all of its major issues as far as body goes as far as rust goes and it, she's not bad she's not bad at all this is a 60 year old car after all a couple of holes down in that area is to be anticipated we've got a few some of you guys pointed out in the last video that it does appear to have a few little holes here and there on the uh rocker so we will go through and open that up maybe we should do that on the next video maybe we should get in there and open that up and see if there are holes i mean we obviously have surface rust i do recall there being a a hole here and there but they're very tiny that kind of stuff we should be able to address without you know a whole lot of effort a whole lot of time so anyway that there's definitely the worst of it this up here turned out to be a piece of cake and now we know exactly what we're dealing with underneath all of this windshield and it's just not that bad at all and it even came apart easy what more do you want so tell me what you guys think do you like the uh the style of the videos you know the the vlogger style do you want me to continue on panel at a time how do you want me to do this uh i figured you know we'd go in sections i'd love to tackle this roof and just get the whole roof completely done just like a project all of it of its own you know because it deserves that you know you're getting around these windshields these drip rail moldings there's a lot can go wrong and we haven't even got up front yet we still got to get in here and pull all of this loose and who knows what's going on down in there as you can see more seam seal that someone has added we already know what that means moisture's been getting trapped down inside of there so we got to figure out how all this comes off we got to clean up that other side which like i said i think will be a lot easier and then we can move on and maybe we'll just spray the roof all by itself. I mean, it's cool, you know? I mean, it's just, it's a panel all its own. You know, it wouldn't have to get blended or any of that kind of stuff. It's a panel all by itself. We could easily wrap this thing up and shoot this roof and get past that part of it. And then all we got to do is deal from, from here down. I don't know. It's an idea, man. It, it would make it a lot easier. You're dealing with a car that's the size of a Walmart. You know, I mean, if you could break it up into sections, especially dealing with something like that, get that knocked out get it out of the way and then move on to something else oh man it would make it so much easier you know climbing around on a car this big trying to paint it all as one piece nightmare total nightmare so maybe we'll do some stuff like that that'd be kind of cool because that means you know you just don't know what you're going to get with the videos you know one day we're, we're straightening a door the next day we're doing this kind of stuff here and then the next day we're we're painting a roof you know and and we'll just do that all over this whole thing why not you know so anyway, you guys let me know. Tell me what you guys think. I got to get out of here for now. Uh, I got a few other things I got to take care of. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. I appreciate all of you watching. Please like, share, subscribe, all of that good stuff. Don't forget my Instagram. There'll be a link in the description as always. And uh, check out my Facebook, Weird Beard on Facebook. Send me a friend request. I will answer it, I promise you. Like I said, for now, I have got to get out of here. So I will see you guys later.